Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Erin, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everyone, welcome to episode 104, July 17th. Yep. It's hot. It is. It's like 92. Yeah. <laughs> and we've gotten like five gazillion inches of rain. Yes, the pond is actually full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were just out there because uh, we had to uh, dispose of a chicken who didn't make it through the storm last night. Yeah. I noticed the other day that she her tail was down, and so I Googled real fast, and the first thing I saw was, or that I saw was that it was could be heat, mm-hmm. and I was like, well, yeah, I mean, it's really hot, so be well, chicken. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. And, yeah, it must have been something else. Yeah, I think it was either egg-bound or... It drowned itself in the storm last night. Yeah, or yeah. Or got scared. So of course it died in the hardest spot to get to yeah. in the coop. Yeah. <laughs> but we got it out. Yep. So I had to grab the uh, garden hoe out and drag it out from underneath the eight foot long chicken coop. Yeah. <laughs> That's fully enclosed in our work cloth. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's like she's been there for. A day at least, and then when they when Pop, I let him at, out, at, le- at least today because she wasn't there yeah. yesterday. Yeah, when I let him out this morning, I don't think to, to count. Yeah, because it's like they all went in, mm-hmm. so they must all come out. <laughs> right, and we just went out there to give him a snack and check on things, and it was like there's only seven. Mm-hmm. So who's hiding? Yeah, <laughs> it happens. So we walked the yard. Nobody was hiding. Looked yeah. underneath the coop. Oh. Like, oh. You're, you're 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 sleeping, and of course it's one of the ones that we weren't gonna get rid of soon right. anyway. But yeah, it was one of our wine dots, so we wanted to keep the that one because that's the laying hen. Yeah, which I did get. I got enough eggs today, so some of the older ladies are still kind of laying, mm-hmm. but not enough. Yeah, it might be every other day. Not even. Not even. Well, no, I'm saying every other day somebody isn't laying. Oh, yeah. So that that might be where your numbers are coming from. Yeah. So. But, yeah, we only got eight eggs out of 14, 12 yeah. chickens. Well, 14. yeah, 12 now because we had 13. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're off of the unlucky number 13. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back to a normal number, I think, right? I don't know. We had seven and seven and eight. There was six and eight. Six and eight. So yeah, it was fourteen. No, we are on thirteen now. Oh, okay. Nice going. All right, whatever. All right, it is what it is. (laughs) Yeah. Soon we'll have (laughs) sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, and that was. I mean, that's the next thing is we have eight chickens in our in a brooder in our garage, Mm -hmm. and we've done this how many times now? Yeah. And I had to look in my book because it was like, when can they go out? And they're like, oh, well, I mean, you know, it says, oh, they can go out when they have feathers. They could be outside Mm -hmm. and be perfectly fine. But I don't want them to get... The shit kicked out of them? (laughs) Yeah. So I think we have to get rid of the older ones first. Yeah. Yeah. And And then then... figure out how we're... Because we have never done free ranging before. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Do we just leave them? I mean, we have to lock them in the coop for a couple day, a day, maybe? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think it would be a good idea to try what we did last time, where at night we went out there and threw them in. But do we leave them in the the big run for a couple of days so they're not, like, yes, roaming the yard? Yes, I think we should. Because I don't know if I want to be trying to find little chickens. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, like a Because it, it even something. took the older ladies a couple days to get accustomed to going yeah. into the... You know, like, here's the entrance. Everything right. else is not. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm also wondering if we should... So, we put up the new netting. Mm-hmm. And they see it for the most part. Mm-hmm. But when they're rushing, they don't see it. Yeah. So, I almost wonder if we need to put something around it. Like, we have all those white fences. I wonder if we should line the one side at least with those white picket fences that we just took out. We should out. probably get more of those even to begin with. I mean, they're annoying because they've got the swirlies on the top and everything gets caught we on those stupid things. We can get the flat ones. Things. 
But I almost think they need to see something else yeah. so they don't go running towards it because then their necks go through the right. holes and they get out, hmm. but it's still kind of a pain because then... Yeah. Yeah, what, we should probably go stop at Menards now that we know the outside dimensions of that thing. Yeah, I don't know if we need to do the whole thing. It probably wouldn't hurt, though. But we should probably do something so they can, at their level, so they can see that that's where the wall is. Right. I I think while the girls are out at the river, maybe you and I can go run over Menards. Yeah. Because we know we need 25 feet on one side, 10 feet on the other, and 25 feet on the other side. Yeah. Would do the whole coop and just see what we can come up with. Yeah, because I just... It, it's, you know, um, it screws with your head. Because it's oh, yeah. like, I know there's something there, but I can't mm-hmm. see it. Yeah. And honestly, that would probably help me pin down the, the netting, yeah. too. Yeah, just to push it into the ground. Yeah. Yeah, we should probably go do that. So I know we can get... I think I bought the white stuff because it was decorative. And yeah, I think I... I don't know who one of us picked it out because yeah. I think I was going to line... Oh, we lined when we had the rabbit... Yeah, garden. I'm, I'm fairly certain oh. I picked it out because it, it was decorative. And it was fine. They're supposed to loop together, you yeah. know, and it's fine. We'll use them for something. Yeah, if they don't fall apart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we don't throw them away because they're all stuck together. But, yeah, I think that will help. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, and I can either paint them, like, orange or something bright. Well, I mean... Yellow. I don't know if they need that. I mean, they saw the chicken wire. Yeah. So I think it just needs to be something. I don't think. Yeah, it needs or we to do silver. Much. Look for silver. Yeah, I don't know. So. But yeah, I mean, it looks very sleek. Mm-hmm. The black netting, but yeah, because yeah, you like... don't see anything out there. <laughs> you look out, and you literally see the conduit. Yeah. And that's it. You don't At even least see the netting. When I first go out every morning, just that fraction of a second that goes. Oh my god, the netting is gone. You know, like, it's like, no, it's not. It's there. So, actually, the netting is held up quite nicely. It's in the very, storms. it's very nice. It so. is very nice. It hasn't really moved, and but nothing heavy has landed on it yet. Right. And it's zip tied down, it's yeah. pulled tight. It's not on there straight by any means because I got kinks yeah. all over the place and whatever. <laughs> But hey, for fifty bucks that I spent on the net itself, it works. Yeah. It's 50, yeah. 50 by fifty, and we got that tip from Amy. Amy yeah. sent us the link for that. Yep. Um, and then the conduit. I think I spent what about three hundred bucks in the conduit. I think. Yeah, I started writing a post to have all the links of all the stuff, and it hasn't yeah. gone up anywhere. Yeah. So it was like around three hundred for the conduit because I used one inch EMT. And then I bought all the fittings for it. The fittings were expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but that thing is solid. Yeah. It's built like it's so it's like all the carport fittings. And it's nut and bolted together. So it's not coming apart. Yeah. Um it's it'll be very nice. I think it'll last us a long time. Mm-hmm. And if a piece of condo gets bent, I can run to the store and buy one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not some special right. thing. So, and I got some extra fittings, so at least the feet. I don't have any sides, but that stuff's easy. It all came off Amazon, and it should be super easy to find. So. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it's been the chickens the past couple days. Yep. <laughs> so, at, at, and here we are, what, about nine minutes into it, and we're going to sit down and talk about a podcast that we have trouble coming up yeah so i think it's just we've been talking and we're not stopping the podcast no yet no i mean there's no i not we, in the foreseeable future we today we just invested a little bit of money in right. the podcast yeah. so yeah, thank you we're, to amazon prime we <laughs> are not stopping anytime soon but we often talk about there are so many podcasts and so much noise all the time mm-hmm and sometimes we look back on what we've done over the past month and go, all we did was babble. Yeah. Like, we don't... I guess we just start getting... You know, we start second-guessing, like, if we're supposed to, like, have a have a topic. Right. Or just, hey, here's what happened. Yeah. it, it It's almost like a, a weekly 
YouTube vlog without the video. Right. Or do you yeah. or do we sit down and we do the structured deal where I don't know what that is. Yeah, so. and it's like what are you know, what could we talk about that five other people aren't already talking about? Groceries, bills, right. money, inflation, right. politics. It's like yeah, that stuff comes into play in all of our lives, but I don't know if I really want to talk about it all the time. Right. That's, and I will say, one thing we haven't really touched has been politics. Yeah. Because you and I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. We're done with it. Yeah. I mean, we did watch the news recently because of what happened, but that was it. Our kids came into the room and they were like, what are you watching? (laughs) We had CNN on, because that's all we get. Uh, It's ABC. Oh, was it? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I honestly didn't even know that we had, like, the news. <laughs> I, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just went clicking yeah. through the Roku to see what I could find, and all of a sudden I find a news thing. It's like, okay, so I just got a text message. I'm going to yeah. flip the news on. We're going to watch 10, 15 minutes yeah. of this, and okay, yeah, we're done. Our, yeah, but our kids were like, what is this? Because yeah. we never... No. I mean, I always remember my parents, we'd watch the news during dinner, and then... Simpsons, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, yeah, nine o'clock. Poof, you, did you you were done watching whenever you were watching because that was a nine o'clock news. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't even do that. So I do miss. So those in the Chicagoland area, WGN, mm-hmm. I do miss the morning news show of yeah. that one because it was funny, and I really liked all the people, but I don't even think it's the same people. I don't even. I mean, I think like Robin Baumgartner. Baumgarten is still there, and and the news, the weather guy, but yeah, it's been a million years. But even like, I can't think of what his name is, but the sports guy that's hilarious, he's gonna be at Sandwich Theater doing another show. Oh yeah, okay. I can't think of what his name is. Anyway, but yeah, it was, it was funny and it was entertaining, and I don't know, it was just something to watch in the morning before I'd go to work. But yeah. Because you had that little bit of time. I was always yeah. the early one to walk yeah. out the door. And, you know, 10 minutes before I need to leave, I'm yeah. up and out of bed. And but 12, 10 years ago, I don't know. I'm sure there was something happening, but it didn't seem like it was like it is now. I'm sure everybody says that. Yeah, I don't remember. what are that, what, that would have been 2014. Yeah. I mean, what was happening in 2014? I don't Nothing know. that I remember. I mean, I guess, I guess nine eleven wasn't that. Well, I mean, nine eleven was that's twenty three years ago, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. So yeah, I'm thinking it was in two thousand eleven, but that's not right. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know what I was even talking about. That's all right. Just we're just random yeah. talking right now because honestly, I think that's what we do best. Yeah, I guess you start. I mean, we don't get much feedback. But we also don't get much hate mail, you know, saying that, you know, you guys suck. Right. Don't do this anymore. Yeah. So it's kind of like, <laughs> well, uh, I guess we'll just kind of keep, I don't know. Yeah. I, I I would say we will get the audio sounding a little bit better. And we'll just keep rolling with it. And if we drop down to once every other week, yeah, that's I mean, what that's, we do. And we are in a, a phase of life that, I mean, we've got kids, we homeschool. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's five minutes between recording last week and recording this week, and it's like, uh, yeah. I didn't even, I thought I still had five more days. You yeah. Know, <laughs> that just, just not into it. And I think people can hear that in our voice mm-hmm. when it's like, oh, God, I just don't want to be doing this. And that's not fair to anybody. No, no. And I, there's been days where we've gotten busy and it's like, okay, we don't have a topic and there's shit going on. We're going to step back for a week and just deal with it. Yeah. But like tonight, dealing with the chicken, it's, you know, an hour before the kids go to bed. Yeah. And we come down here just to get it done. They can have their ice cream. They get to grieve over a, Missing chicken for yeah, they didn't even ten really minutes, <laughs> which is good, but also like, are we making it so that they're not bothered by death? Like, but I guess I mean when you live on a 
I mean, we don't live on a farm, but yeah. when you live on land that has animals that could potentially die any second, mm-hmm. you just kind of get, you know, prepared all the time. Yeah, yeah. And we, we were very good to warn them right off the bat. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to find when you walk out back. Yeah. Last night, after that crazy storm blew through, and there were two tornadoes, three tornadoes within 10 miles of our house. Yeah. In the storm that hit us, the cell that hit us spawned tornadoes a couple miles down the road. Yeah. It's like, we're lucky we didn't lose any more animals. Yeah. And with all the thunder and the lightning and all, we got four inches of rain the past two days. Yeah. Three, three and a half. So, we are, we're, who knows, the chicken could have drowned outside. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, yeah, I noticed... <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that she was acting weird and thought it was heat, but I don't know. Yeah, could be anything. Yep. But the kids have done really, really, really good with that, Mm -hmm. and they understand it. The rabbits can be a little bit hard, which I understand because... The rabbits are harder, I think, because I I don't know. I don't know why. They're cute. Yeah, so it's been a lot nicer with the chickens, them being out because we can interact with them and i think it will eventually maybe get harder Mm -hmm. when we lose one because that was the one that came up or that was one they always chased and picked up or you know whatever but it's gonna happen yep exactly have fun with what you can and you want more eggs gotta replace them yeah so yeah and that's one thing we've always told them too is we don't have the space to keep them all no i'd love to have 30 chickens out there but, I'd, lo- I'd love to have a couple hundred. Yeah, but we don't have the space. Exactly. Oh, you want dinner? It's outside. Run around. Go catch it. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> we'll see. So, but yeah, that's... Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of behind the scenes of our thoughts and, yeah, just second guessing what we're putting out and whether it's worth it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of options yeah. to listen to. And there's a lot of podcasters that have a lot more downloads than we do. I mean, I know what, we, I know what our numbers are, and for who we are, I think our numbers are really good. Yeah. So, I... They're more than one, but they're a little under 100,000 per episode. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's at least more than one. So at yeah. least somebody out there is listening to us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even think my mom is listening, so I can't even say it's her. No. No, and I don't want... My parents aren't, so... So, I mean, we really do appreciate everyone that listens mm-hmm. in our community. Yep. And we're trying to do our best, and sometimes our best is not very good. Exactly. Sometimes it's really good and spot on, like... We drop an episode on rabbits, and three people message us and go, I'm getting yeah. rabbits because I heard you guys. Yeah. So, but, yeah. I think that's about it for this week. You think so? Yeah. You got anything else? Nope. That's it. All right. We'll catch you guys next time. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking. <laughs>